Police in Italy have arrested three people on suspicion of people trafficking following the deaths of at least 64 migrants in a shipwreck off the country's southern coast on Sunday. The three detained were a Turkish man and two Pakistani nationals. Most of those on the wooden vessel, thought to carry 200 people, were said to be from Afghanistan, Pakistan, Somalia, Syria, Iraq and Iran. Officials have warned the final death toll could climb to more than 100. Rescuers pulled another body from the sea, that of a man, on Tuesday morning. The three men arrested are said to have sailed the boat from Izmir in Turkey to Calabria in Italy despite bad weather conditions. Police say they allegedly asked the migrants for about a not 8,000, a 7,000 pounds, $8,500, each to make the long journey. The vessel is reported to have sunk after it crashed against rocks in rough weather, while trying to land near Croton. The Coast Guard said 80 people had been found alive including some who managed to reach the shore after the sinking, meaning many more remained unaccounted for. The coffins of the victims found so far have been laid out in a sports hall in Croton, small white caskets for the younger victims and brown ones for the adults, to allow people to pay their respects. At least 12 children including a baby are among the victims. Relatives of the victims living in northern Europe have arrived to try to get news of their relatives and identify bodies where necessary. Rescuers said many of the migrants on board came from Afghanistan, and Pakistan has said 16 of its citizens survived the disaster, but four were missing. According to monitoring groups, more than 20,000 people have died or gone missing at sea in the central Mediterranean since 2014.